On this video, I will show you guys exactly on how do I day trade the cryptocurrency market successfully for already over two years. I will be revealing my exact trading strategy that you could be using yourself as well. I will tell you guys and show you how you could be looking for low risk setups for trend continuations, for trend identifications and much, much more. So make sure to watch this video till the end. If you want to learn a little bit here about trading and on how I have been doing this for the past three to four years. And let's dive right away into the charts. Now we're here in the charts. I can right away tell you the first step what you want to be doing if you are going to open any charts. I'm going to as well show how I'm going to be trading all coins in this video. So make sure to watch it till the end because it's going to be definitely become very, very interesting. But of course, the first thing you want to be doing if you're going to be opening a chart is basically identify the trend, right? So currently what we can see and how we're going to identify the trend is, okay, what is the market doing? Is it either forming? higher lows and higher highs of course in a higher low higher high structure you are in an uptrend and you want to be looking at long positions on the lower side or are we in a downtrend right now where we're forming lower highs on the top side and lower lows on the lower side where you ultimately want to be looking at shorting positions because the easiest way on trading a market is if you're just going to be trading with the trend and of course as soon as the trend refers you're going to go trade the other direction how do we identify these trends? So what you can see here on Bitcoin is that we have been forming a lower high, lower low, lower high, lower high, lower low. And then out of here, we start to be forming a higher high than the previous high. So this is definitely a signal that the trend is shifting around and could be, of course, poss uh, possibly see some more upside. Right away, also do note that after we formed this higher high on the market right here, right away after the retracement back towards the low on the market, we once again formed a higher high afterwards. So that was, of course, clearly a continuation of a trend uh, direction. Like you can see, we formed a downtrend right here, and here we started to see an uptrend. Did the uptrend last very long? No, but it did still allow you to open a little bit of a long position right here, right? So that is what you want to be looking for. You want to be looking for entries, and here you could have clearly seen, okay, we're forming a higher high on the four, uh, four hourly high, so we're probably going to look at long positions if we're going to come down. Then afterwards, we were seeing, of course, here, and the, yeah, different formation in the trend getting started, right? So if you're also going to zoom in, you could also go to the one hour time frame and see it a little bit more in depth. Here on the one hour time frame, the market started to be shifting around. So you saw, of course, a lower high, lower high, lower high, together with lower lows heading from the market. And this was basically already the uh, signal of the trend where the market is heading towards. And I actually also shorted this high over here because I was seeing, okay, this trend is really, really coming down further. And you want to be trading with the trend. Don't bet against the trend. That is the message I want to be giving to you guys out there. Never bet against the trend. Of course, what you want to be doing in terms of take profit you want to always look once again at these confluence zones, right? So a confluence zone, for instance, on this market right here is the range low here. Why? It's because this is a very strong level of resistance, very strong level of support, support, support. And once again, what did it did over here? It provided short term support. So that is, of course, important. Just look at levels of high confluence. Could you have been extending this short? Yes, you could have. But sometimes it's good to take profits off the table. And um, in fact, historically speaking this ha would have been a range where bitcoin could have been bouncing off very strongly from so it would have made sense to take some profits of your shorting positions over here another very important tool to use is the fibonacci and the fibonacci you can find them over here on the left side of your toolbar you go to this uh, extension tool and you can see right here fibonacci retracement if you press on it you can select it and what i right away want to be saying here you set up a fibonacci always from swing high to swing low to identify retracement levels where the market could be potentially heading towards so in this case this is the swing high in the market because here you saw a correction down we came back up again there was the swing high then the swing low in the market is very easy to identify just the lowest point in the market and of course you're setting up this level extending it to the right and boom you can see right away a very interesting story getting told so before you're going for the intro I said, guys, I will double press on it and I would highly recommend that you are going to be pausing the video right now, make a screenshot and copy this exact Fibonacci setup I'm currently using with these numbers. Of course, the colors don't really matter, but with these numbers, because I will be explaining it right now. Fibonacci is basically always telling us a very interesting story and actually it allows you to trade the market very good because look at, look at this. You set up the Fibonacci. So the information we're currently going to talk about you, you would have all seen it. So you would have been playing this rejection right here. You could have shorted this. Very good short, of course, the 0.236, very strong resistance. Then furthermore, as you can see over here, we broke above the 0.382 right away. If you would have been longing the 0.382, 
would be making a lot of sense here because the 0.3A2 is uh, also well known as a golden pocket entry and that is a very strong level of support if you can retest it. Also, the majority of the resistance usually gets found, in my opinion, around the 0.65 and the 0.618 and that's why it's of course also made yellow. You can clearly see very strong level of resistance as well over here we broke above it but still provided significant rejections and moved the market further down right so this is of course an important level and if you can clearly break above this region you're probably going to look for higher continuations up again but also look at this 0.236 once again in this trend right here providing some short-term support will it hold we don't know but you could have been playing the short-term bands right that is the point that i want to be making also we set up negative Fibonacci levels. And these are the levels we want to be really pay attention towards. Because if you are in a trend, you're in, in this trend, let's say that, and you're going to be looking for a continuation down, you break below the 0 0.236, what are the levels you're going to be aiming for? You have no data. What are the levels that you're going to be longing the market at or going to close your short at, right? In my opinion, it's going to be the minus 0 0.382 and the minus 0 0.618. Those are two worthy levels to look at long positions at. In this case, it's the 15.4K and the 14,000 US dollars. So the Fibonacci tells you a very important uh, story on the market on what levels are very important to look at. And historically speaking, guys, if you do break above this region right here, you're probably going to be, of course, see a continuation further on towards the upside. And you could be, of course, just spot these very nice levels of short term support where you could be taking a bounce from and also resistance like you can see over here. But if you want to be making a significant amount of profit while trading the market, I personally think you want to be trading altcoins. Trading altcoins right now has been pretty easy if you would ask me in this market right here because there were some very easy trends to be catching on towards right now. And I will be going in towards my prime examples on how to be trading altcoins in a second. But first of all, if you are interested in trading, make sure to check out BitGet in the link in the description. If you want to be trading on BitGet, it's extremely simple. You sign up an account in the link in the description, claim your deposit bonus after initial deposit. Also, guys, the coming 14 days after your sign up, after initial deposit, will be 0% trading fees. And that is going to be extremely valuable. But if you want to be trading on this exchange, it takes like 20 seconds for signing up. Afterwards, you deposit some funds in it. You go to futures, you go to use the tether margin, you press on it. After that, you come in this screen. And what you want to be doing here is go to the top left where you see the uh, BTC USDT or Ethereum USDT pair. And then you can search all these altcoins they basically have available. So many altcoins you can be trading over here. It's absolutely crazy. But before showing you guys on how we will be taking a trade here on BitGet. Let me show you a very quick example on how to trade altcoins. So right now, I will be showing you guys three very easy trades you ha could have been taking here on the market using BitGet Exchange. So what you can see over here is that let's say uh, XRP, you would have you want to be trading it. Actually, you want to be researching many altcoins because there are always certain opportunities left or right anywhere in the market, right? So this was a very good example in my opinion. Because look at this chart, you can clearly see very strong support, a very clear demand zone was getting formed on the market. After this demand zone got broken towards the downside, we saw a small little bit, a little bit of a run up, a relief rally. And then you saw the previous demand zone flipping into resistance. And if you would have shorted this high over here, it would have been literally a plus 20% trade towards the downside. What is, of course, absolutely crazy. This is a very simple way of trading and actually one of my most favorite ways of trading. It's just trading support and resistance. If you break a support level, you want to be trading it next time as resistance, especially if you're in a downtrend, what we could have been easily identified over here, right? We're forming lower highs clearly, we're forming lower lows clearly, clearly in a downtrend. So what do you want to be doing in a downtrend? You want to be shorting the previous support and then you are going to create a continuation. Also looking at the next altcoin, this is a also a very simple one. This is the be this has been clearly the demand zone on the market. You come up again here. You don't always have to trade every single time. And that's why you look at multiple altcoins to look at multiple positions, right? It comes down, breaks below the support zone. And then once again, it tests the support as resistance. You could have entered twice. You could have either entered over here or either entered over here. And you would have once again made a significant profit here on the market. From high to low, this would have been already a plus 30%. Once again, by just shorting resistance, it's so easy to do. You identify the previous supply zone, what is in this case over here, the low on the market. 
you break it, you're going to retest it as resistance, you're going to go short, and you continue the way down. Also, another very prime example is this chart, AVEX, also a very simple one. We can clearly identify this is a very clear demand zone, two clear touches, even three clear touches. You set up an, um, an, a box over here, boom, you set up this box, and you can clearly see, okay, boom, we, um, we tested the support not once, not twice, but three times, break below it. What are you going to do if you're retesting it in a downtrend? Because we're forming still lower high, lower high, lower high, bam. That is why, of course, these are very, very easy trades to take. And that is, of course, all the things you can be doing here on BitGet as well. So let's say you want to be trading AVEX. You go to here, you type in AVEX, and you can clearly see, okay, AVEX minus 0.6%. You click on it, you come on this interface right here, and then you could be trading this altcoin. Next, what you can be doing here is basically place a limit order or a market order. I would recommend to go with a limit order and you can also right away select this take profit and stop loss. You set up your take profit, you set up your stop loss before your entry even got filled because due to that, you will always have a very good risk management because in the end of the day, it comes down to risk management and if you just can't cut the losses sometimes you will never be able to make a big big win right because what is very important is that sometimes you can lose five trades and you only have to win one of them and you're still going to be profitable if you take a plus one to five um, risk to reward ratio trades so that is going to be very important to take into account always use the stop loss guys never get your account wiped up because if your account is wiped up you can't even trade anymore with it and you can't be able to be making any profits back here so please Always use a stop loss because otherwise you are going to get wrecked. Anyways, I truly hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial video where I go a little bit in the depth of a very easy trading strategy you could be using yourself as well to make some money while day trading the market. If you think this video is adding any value to your own trades, make sure to slap up the like button on today's video. It will be absolutely amazing if you can smash it up right now. And yeah, I hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Goodbye.